Um, I'm Mike Bowers. I'm the District Director for the Ohio Small Business Development Center at Columbus State and the founder of the Ohio Growth Summit. Yeah, the Ohio Growth Summit is a program that I decided we wanted to put together you know, several years ago and eight years ago we were able to pull off the first event. And what it is is it's designed to help small business owners, whether they're thinking about getting into business or they've been in business for a number of years, come up with new and innovative ways that they can build their businesses. Yeah, when we first started the Ohio Growth Summit in 2005, we were using all kinds of just traditional outreach mechanisms to try to get the word out about the summit. So we've done everything over the years from direct mailers to trying to work with various partners to promote to their list to actual paid advertising. And in 2008, we started really focusing on social media. And for the 2009 conference, we went to an almost exclusive social media promotion for the event. And it's just been a huge differentiator for us. It's allowed us to reach an audience that we've not been able to reach before. It's allowed us to really better articulate what it is we're doing because of the engagement aspects of social media. So we can have dialogues with people that are thinking about coming. It's not just a, an ad that they read and, okay, well, I don't get what the importance is. If they don't get what the importance is, they can ask us and we can actually tell them what's in it for them. And the, the biggest differentiating factor is, is that it's cut our advertising and marketing cost dramatically. I mean, almost from, you know, trying to buy ads or trying to do direct mailers. You, you really can't buy enough ads when you're doing an event like this to make that work. So with social media, we've been able to drop the cost, really take those funds and put them into the content, put them into bringing in high quality speakers into the event itself to make the event better and not spending all the money just on the advertising piece. Plus it's been, you know, just a huge outreach tool for us. It allows us to reach more people than we've ever been able to reach before. Yeah, I think that the, the biggest thing when when you're putting together an event like this is to, you know, one, think about who your audience is and what you're trying to convey. And then if you're gonna go down a path of using social media to promote that, to really build this engagement to where they can dialogue with you, you know, really the, the vision of, of social media to create engagement and create dialogue. And that's a little different than a traditional event, which is very push, mm -hmm. you know, we do this, we do this. If you use social media properly, you can, you can build raving fans when they haven't even come to the event before, and they'll start promoting for you. So that's the thing that I think that social media really brings to people that are doing either larger events or even small events to promote, you know, new product launches or something like that. Yeah, the best place to go for information on the summit is ohiogrowthsummit.com. That is the primary site for the event. You'll see a mixture of videos and uh, written content about the event. You can also link to our Facebook and Twitter accounts from there. So in, in engaging with those accounts will allow you to uh, be able to interact better with, with both the speakers and the event organizers to really get an understanding of what's in it for you.